Welcome to the Pope on Film. I am Bunny Williams, and with me is I am the Pope in question. My name is Maylin. I am the founder of the Church of Ed Wood, which is an actual thing worth a Google. Nice monologue graphic. Very yeah, pretty. It, it, just kind it, of playing it, around. It looks like downtown Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> Tucson, Arizona. This is episode 443 of the podcast. Yes, yes, Little Lebowski, Urban Achievers, and proud we are of all of that. It's going to be an exciting day. I've got a real fun game for the monologue, which I think is going to be a blast. We're going to be talking about the birth of pop psychology. In Steve's historic approximations, and our movie this week is Elf on the Shelf. And I would just like to apologize for this week's film, Bunny. Uh, I thought that it would be like a so bad it's good, but no, it's just it's it's nigh unwatchable. I I is, don't know if I can completely agree. I hate this movie so much. It's basically just three guys doing a movie over a weekend. And I absolutely despise it. I haven't felt this bad about making you watch a movie since uh, Sandy Wexler. Sandy Wexler, you son of a bitch. (laughs) And then they, and, and I know that when when your movie is about an elf on the shelf that comes to life and kills people that talking about the facts of it it's the wrong elf it, it, as you see there yes yes they use an authentic elf on the shelf for the poster but then they use this like ugly ass looking goodwill reject doll for the actual movie i i 100% hate this movie. Super bad. Apparently, you have a different feelings about it. Uh, uh, slightly different feelings about it. Okay. Okay. But I, we I, will... I, I don't want I, I'm I'm not I'm definitely not going off on a rave for this fucking movie. Yeah. But it's... I would watch it again. Okay. Let's just okay. put it there. Yeah. Uh, and I'm pretty high, you know, uh, I've, I've been really getting, getting into philosophy lately. I'm, I'm trying to better myself because it, it, you know, I, I, I've, I've been through a lot this year and I'm just trying to be a better person. And so I've been reading a lot of philosophy and there was a quote that I wanted to start the podcast with. So I'm trying to get more serious. It's from a famous, uh, Western philosopher. You probably haven't heard of him. His name is Kid Rock. And he said in one of his beautiful poems, Ba with the Ba. The bang a dang. Now, this is the important part. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Said the boogie. Said up jump. The boogie. And that's that's really what it's all about. You know, when you get right down to it, that's that summarizes everything. So I hope that, you know, you keep keep that in your heart and it will help you out. Yes. Those those are words that can guide you through life. Yeah. Yeah. Buddy. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm? We we really need to catch up on some Marvel. You've got to have finished She-Hulk by now. Oh yes, I watched She Hulk. Okay, and so, so I loved it. She Hulk. Yes. Okay, good. But we got to back up because you got to do Moon Knight and Miss Marvel too. I saw Moon Knight and I saw She Hulk. I tried watching Miss Marvel, and I just I had a hard time getting through it. I. If I was younger, I probably would have loved it. But now I'm just thinking, who's this brat who's not listening to her parents? <laughs> Which shows you, you know, the the difference that that age can uh, do to you. I really liked Moon Knight. I thought he needed to be more of a smart ass. 
Yeah. But it, it, it did a really good job of explaining the mythology and, and all of that. And uh, She-Hulk just nailed the tone just right. And I really dug that. And, uh, you know, Wong has been in more movies than any other uh, Marvel character. I believe it's Wong who's been in more Marvel movies than any other Marvel character. In more more movies? I mean, he's made more in appearances. More, I, I can more see appearances. That. Yeah. But he's basically just the glue that holds this entire universe together at this point. Yes, he is. And I'm down with that. Yes, he is. Couldn't get but into yeah, Miss Marvel, huh? No, I... I I'm good. I decided to to watch She-Hulk because I absolutely have just been gun ho about watching that, and I loved it, and it was super fun. It was dumb fun, and I loved it. And I figure, you know, whenever I'm ready, I'll just go back and watch Miss Marvel. I I've already I've already seen like the last ten minutes of it. I've already had the ending spoiled, so I'm gonna take my time getting through that. Yeah. Moon Knight is kind of why I want Marvel to stay to limited series. Yeah. And not really, like a lot of the things they're putting out there doesn't really feel like it lends itself very well to a series. Yeah. And I think where, I thought Moon Knight was pretty great. Okay, where I think where it winds up falling down a bit is everywhere where they were trying to set up for season two. Yeah. You know, so we play around with Jake Lockley without actually doing that story. And it it just takes away time from, from the story they're trying to tell here. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, where they could do that at some other point. Yeah. She-Hulk, I think, lends itself a lot better to having a season two. Yeah. You know, because it's already kind of fulfilling a lot of the things that I think we need in Marvel shows, getting different, diverse characters. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I... The world is so intricate, you know, that we really need to mix them up. So, like, instead of a Moon Knight 2, well, or a Loki 2, well, let's put them in together. Let's take those two, put them in something together, and send them off on another, on their own limited series. Yeah. I'm really happy that they've added Waymond Wang from everything everywhere all at once and also Goonies and Indiana Jones in the second season of Loki. I'm looking oh, forward really? to that. Yeah. Yeah. Cuz he's he's really having a renaissance that man. Yes, he is. So, and and, he deserves and for it. him. Well deserved. Yes, well deserved. Very excited. I am Because so I have been holding on to my potatoes for decades now. Yeah. Yeah. Funny. Yes. I want to start off this episode of the Pope on Film podcast with a game. Okay. I feel like it's been a while since we've played a game here on the big shoe, and this is a good one. In fact, despite the uh, fact that we're currently doing this podcast every other week, which is really helping me with my mental health. Thank you, Bunny. I came up with this game the morning after we recorded our last podcast. Okay. Which was when I got deep AF about everything everywhere all at once. So this is the game. But before we get to the game, I'd like to talk a little bit about a company, which is uh, very important to this game. Build-A-Bear Workshop was founded in 1997 when Maxine Clark then president of Payless Shoe Source, which I still can't believe went out of business, <laughs> still blows me away. How am I supposed to 
annoy my kids for an entire Sunday afternoon now. <laughs> Very upset about this. Um, Build a Bear Workshop was founded in 1997 when Maxine Clark resigned as president of Payless Shoe Source to sell bears. Okay. Now in 2022, it is an international <coughs> company that frequently has collabs with various pop culture icons. So, this is the game. I will name a movie or a TV show or a specific movie or TV character, and you have to tell me if Build-A-Bear has ever made a bear of it before. Okay. I'm just going to be naming some names of pop culture, name some famous names, uh, famous people, famous TV characters, famous movie characters, and you have to tell me if they have ever done a bear of it. Are you, do you got it, Bunny? Are you ready? I think I got it. Okay. So, let's start this off. I have 30. 30. So, yeah. So, it, the, the, the history of Build-A-Bear is crazy. Okay. Pikachu. This is it? This is the game? <laughs> yeah, this is the game. This is the game. Okay. Pikachu. Because I was kind of kind of thinking of a person. Okay, no. Pikachu. Yeah, they did a Pikachu bear. Of course they did a Pikachu bear. Yes, you are correct. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, most certainly. Good job. You're doing good so far. Here's a tricky one. Charles Manson. I'm going to go, yeah, because I totally would. No, they have not they done have not a, Charles... Made a Charles Manson bear. No, no. So you got two out of three so far. Okay. Okay. And now, after this, it starts getting complicated. Gumby. This is hard. Yeah, I'm going to go no on that because I can't see how you would do Gumby as a Gumby is Gumby. Okay. Okay. You know? Good job. Uh they have never done a Gumby bear. The Riddler. I can see them doing a Riddler. Good job. But yes, they have done a Riddler bear. So far you're uh, 4 for 5. You're doing good. You're doing good. NBC's Seinfeld. Tough one. You really got to think about it. I spent so many birthdays. I have five kids. So many birthdays I spent at Build a Bear warehouses. So this is this is easier for like my wife, my family. It's harder for you, I think. When was the last time? When was the last time you went to a Build a Bear workshop, Bunny Williams? I, I don't think I have ever actually been in a Build a Bear oh. workshop, nor have I ever been in a Chuck E. Cheese. Really? really man you have not lived until you've gotten drunk and passed out in a Chuck E. cheese ball pit uh That's a fact I i'm gonna go yes on seinfeld no oh you are incorrect uh wait what was your answer i, I said your yes. answer was yes okay yes you were wrong nbc's friends oh well i gotta go no now because i've just been burnt Yes, they have done NBC's Friends they as build a bears. Yes. Friends is everywhere now. So why wouldn't they do a Seinfeld? I don't know. I mean, but they've done but they are currently, if I'm not mistaken, currently doing the Friends. You can get like a bear with a uh, uh like a Thanksgiving turkey over its head. Yeah. You can get a turkey. You can get a bear that's carrying a couch, and it says "pivot." There's a couple of them. A, a bear that has no black friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not allowed to make a black bear when you're making a friends bear. Uh, number eight, Doctor Who. Yes, yes, very good. They have done every Doctor as a bear. Ever? Oh. Every doctor, including number four with the scarf and the robot dog, every doctor. Cookie Monster. 
Yes. Yes, they have done a Cookie Monster. Deadpool. Yes. Good job. They have done a Deadpool bear. Yes. John Cena. Yes. No, they have never no. done a John Cena bear before. We are on question 11. You've only gotten three wrong. I thought that you uh, would have a harder time with this, so you're doing pretty good. Number 12. Well, I'm, I'm kind of going, going at, like, what is popular and then what specifically is popular for children? Yeah. So, like, that's kind of why I said yes on Seinfeld, because it was wildly popular. But I thought they might make a bear out of it. Doctor yeah. Who was a definite. John Cena is really popular with kids, so I thought yes. John Cena, but... As far as I can tell, I, I, I searched and searched and searched. They've never done any WWE-related bears at the Build-A-Bear. They're missing out. They're missing out. I would love a, a Brock Lesnar bear that's like all roided out. I would be I would be down with that. Number 12, Legolas. This really separates the men from the boys here. Uh Yes. Yes, they have. Good job, Bunny. Boba Fett. Yes. Yes, they have. Godzilla. Have they ever made a Godzilla build bear I'm going to go no on that one. Yes, they have. They, they have. don't make it anymore, but they have. I want it. <laughs> Teletubbies. Teletubbies? Mm-hmm. No. Good job. They have never made uh, Teletubbies. Although Teletubbies are back, it's streaming on something. Paramount Plus or Apple, I don't know. But Teletubbies are back. Squirrel Girl! No. Good job. They have never made a Squirrel Girl. Jack Skellington! Yes. Yes. Jack Sparrow! Yes. Yes. Jackie Chan! I am hoping no. Is that your final I'm answer? Say sir? No. Okay. Um I decided that for question 19, Jackie Chan, that whatever answer you give, I'm going to say yes. Because have they made an official Jackie Chan build a bear? No. But in 2010, Jackie Chan visited a Build-A-Bear and made two pandas and now takes them with him everywhere he goes. He made two pandas at Build-A-Bear. He named them, okay. and now he travels. Anytime he's doing a movie or interviews, he travels with his two Build-A-Bears and gets pictures of famous people holding his two panda Build-A-Bears. He has pictures of his two Builder Bears being held by Jet Li, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Bill Clinton. Oh, okay. Bill Clinton has held Jackie Chan's favorite Builder Bears. So, although, so, although the bear has made some allegations about Bill Clinton, but it's being kept kind of quiet. The weird part is both of both of the Builder Bears have broken every bone in their body. <laughs> which is weird they don't even have bones but like they had to go to the doctor it's real messed up uh, number 20 Aquaman have they ever made an Aquaman Build-A-Bear it's a tough one no you are correct. They never have made an Aquaman Build-A-Bear. Harley Quinn. Yes. Yes, they have. Good job. Neo. 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 Neo, Neo. 
No. Are you no, ready to no, learn no, about no, the no, Matrix, no, no, Neo? No, no, no. I saw the new Matrix movie, The Matrix 4, Get matrix Year, the day it came out. I could not tell you a single thing that happened in that movie. I keep, I, I keep At forgetting all. about it. The only thing I could tell you it. is that Doctor Horrible was in it, and uh, he was like a he was like a like psychiatrist. That's all I remember. I, hmm. I I I have realized that there is a level when it comes to stars and things like that, like. There's there's the star or whatever, and then if you drop down a level, you get to the level of, I thought you were dead. Yeah. For certain stars. Bella Lugosi. Like, I just found out Eleanor Donahue, still alive. Hmm. Thought she was hmm. dead. But I realized that there is a level just underneath that that is a bit worse. And that's the, I forgot you ever existed. Yeah. Yeah. Where somebody will pop up and, and it'll be like, you recognize their face, but they were never anybody. Yeah. And you probably haven't thought about them since the last time you've seen them. And it's like, wow. I completely forgot you existed. Uh, uh, Dave Thomas was everywhere for a while. The comedian and not the guy who owned Wendy's. Uh, honestly, it works either way, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. But Dave Thomas was everywhere for a while. Martin Mull. Yeah, but see, they're not even up to these level because you can name them. Yeah. You know, but like the 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 guy in rollerball who was James Conn's friend. Yes. And then you see him pop up somewhere like wow. Oh hey, it's that guy. Totally forgot you were anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so question 22. Neo. Uh, Neo, I think I... Uh, n oh. n Neo, no, 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 no. No, 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 no on the Neo. No. Yes, they have made a Neo Build-A-Bear before. Yeah? Yes, they did a whole series of Matrix Build-A-Bears. You could get like a... Just imagine just a cheesy uh, <laughs> uh, bear but with black wraparound sunglasses and a trench coat. And then the best part is every uh, Neo Build-A-Bear came with 40 guns. Okay. That were all loaded with live ammunition. It was crazy. It was crazy. But yes, they made a Neo. Vincent Van Gogh. No. They have. They have. Yes, it's a collaboration with the Van Gogh Museum, that like traveling thing that comes to different towns and just, yeah. Elvis Presley. Yes. Yes. Charlie Brown. Yes. Yes, they have. Good job. Michael Myers. I'm trying to picture what the hell Charlie Brown would look like as a bear. I'm trying to yeah. picture what the fuck a bald bear would look like. Yeah. Number 26, Michael Myers. All right, I need clarification here. Michael Myers, not Mike Myers. Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Okay. Chi, 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 ha, 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 ha. I'm going to say no, yes. No, no, no. One note synthesizer music, Michael Myers. <laughs> no, they have not. No. And I was surprised by this because... Just getting some bears and putting like a hockey mask on one, putting a, a William Shatner mask on another one. It seems like a like a like a home run, but no, they've never done any uh, spooky ones like that. Cobra Kai. Um, 
Uh, I hope no, but I'm going to say yes. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. You can get uh, a bear with your choice of like a Danny LaRusso or like a other guy, sweep the leg guy. I cannot believe that we live in a world. I Again, uh, uh, the Mandela effect. I might be from another reality because I am blown away at the fact that Pee Wee Herman as a vampire became a long running beloved TV show. Yes. And also, uh, you mean to tell me it's 2022 and the karate kid is cool again? And I what? don't I don't know why. I find I find it personally me, I find it really kind of pathetic. It's freaking weird. It's freaking weird. This Halloween, I saw so many people dressed up in like uh karate kid outfits, and it's like this is a thing again. That's so weird. It's I, like if all of a sudden Kim Kardashian was really into pogs. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I watched the first two seasons because I just binge watched it to, you know, I just binge watched it. Um, and I was like, get over high school. Get yeah. over it. Yeah. Get over it already. Freaking weird. You're okay. fucking grown-ups. Yeah. Daniel LaRusso is selling used cars. I the the only thing I'm happy about is that dude's getting work again. Good for you. Yeah. What was his name? Ralph Macchio? Yes, Ralph Macchio. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good for you, Ralph Macchio. Other than that, I absolutely don't care. Uh, I rewatched uh, the Karate Kid three in February of this year. Yeah. That movie was horrible. So they went but, downhill real fucking quick. Yeah, they did. I mean, the second one was barely passable. Yeah. It, also, to be fair, um, I hate the Karate Kid movies. You play any of the songs from that, and I will sing along like a drunk woman in a strip club uh, on during a bachelor party. Okay. If, if suddenly, you know... So like, many Republican senators. Yeah. yeah okay. Many Republican senators. Uh, number 28, we're nearing the end of the quiz. The Bride of Frankenstein. Yes. Yes, they have. I can now, almost one, picture that one. Yeah. Now, this one, I Family think is one warning. of the hardest. Okay. This one, I think, is one of the hardest. Number 29, really think about it. Think about the pros and the cons. Jesus. Well, I'm going to say no, because they didn't make a Charles Manson one, and they're virtually the same bear. But it's Easter. You can get like a like a yeah. like Easter bunny bear, a Jesus bear, a Roman centurion bear. You can get like a like a you can get a cross to crucify your bear. <laughs> and then you leave it at the Build-A-Bear, and then three days later, your bear comes to life. Okay. After having died in the Build-A-Bear. No, they haven't made a Jesus. Okay. But I, I, I ran this quiz There is by... potential. Once you, once you said Easter, I was like, Ooh, yeah, I yeah, might be uh, so wrong here. Uh, I ran this... Uh, Quiz by uh, Emerald and uh, Mal and my wife. And Jesus was the one that they got tripped up on the most. Really? Yeah. Uh, number 30. Here's the last one. This one's also hard. Gigi Allen. 
G.G. Allen? Who the fuck is yeah. G.G. Allen? You don't know who G.G. Allen is? No. Oh, my God, Bunny. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. You don't know who G.G. Allen is. Okay. Quick Google search. G.G. Allen. 16 gruesome things you might not know. Article from Louder. Ultra controversial G.G. Allen. Here are some crazy facts about the scum lover himself. Of course, the first picture is him covered in blood. Um, his real name was Jesus Christ Allen. His okay. brother started calling him G.G. because he couldn't pronounce Jesus. Uh, Allen's controversial stage act included such low key practices as the consumption of fecal matter and self mutilation. His lyrics were renowned for being anything but politically correct. For proof, just read the words to his songs Ass Fucking, uh, Die When You Die, Butt Sucking, uh, Uh, Allen introduced his famed poop punk stage movement in 1985 at a show in Peoria, Illinois, where he literally and deliberately shat himself on stage. There was a near riot as people tried to get away from the stench. <laughs> in 1989, Allen said he would commit suicide on stage on Halloween that year, but he was in jail, so he was unable to carry out his threat. Uh, Alan died from a heroin overdose on June 28th, 1993. After all his suicide threats, it was accidental. Uh, if you are so inclined, a GG Allen bobblehead toy is available to purchase online. So here's the question. Have they made a GG Allen Build-A-Bear? After hearing all of that, I've Definitely got to go, yes. I mean, of course they have. It's the only Build-A-Bear that, that makes literally... Sense. You, you buy the Build-A-Bear, you put it by your bed, and you go to sleep. And when you wake up, it's really cute. The G.G. Allen bear has shit all over you. Yes. It's, it's really amazing. The level of authenticity. No, they haven't made a G.G. Allen or it's uh, hanging okay. from a noose tied to the lamp. Okay, so I think that that was a lot of fun. So out of 30, let's see how many you got right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You got 21 out of 30 right. That is pretty good. Uh, good job for you, Maxwell. Uh, uh, Maxwell. Yeah. Uh, uh, Bunny. I'm really high right now. Uh, I've been doing these pills lately. Uh, they're by a company called 1906, and they're uh Bliss pills. Okay. Bliss drops twenty plant-based pills for happiness. One hundred milligrams of THC and one hundred milligrams of CBD. A stimulating blend of. Uh, euphoria-inducing plant medication and cannabis to promote a bubbly sense of well-being and extroverted happiness. They're freaking awesome. They have a bunch of other pills. There's one for uh, for going to sleep. There's one for love that's supposed to make you aroused. I haven't tried that one. One to keep you up, like energy pills. There's a genius pill. There's a pill called Chill, which I'll never try again. It's basically a roofie for me. But this stuff is really cool. It just makes me kind of happy and kind of out of it. And I'm still able, I'm a little bit high, but I'm still able to, you know, go about my day. It's pretty cool. I really dig it. I, 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 I'm going to have to see if those are available. Yeah, they're it's awesome. It's 100 milligram per pill? Uh, no, uh, total. It's total. Oh, really? That kind of sucks. But uh, one package is uh, 20 pills. So, yeah, usually I take one or two and and yeah, I'm good. It's awesome. Yeah. I also just See, got I, some... I get I get 50 milligram gummies. So I take two of those. That's 100 milligrams. Yeah. 
just in one shot for you. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm, I'm developing more of a tolerance. So back in the day, taking one of those would have just wiped me out, but now I'm getting more of a tolerance. So if that was a hundred milligrams in a pill, that would be fucking awesome. Yeah. Okay. Because again, I so, still don't like the taste of marijuana. Yeah. So I yeah, don't so that's, chew them. Yeah. I so that's why the, the pills might be good down. for you. Yeah. yeah. So, the, so the pills might be good for you. Uh, so that is it for the monologue this week. That was a fun game. Really want to get my hands on the Godzilla Builder Bear. Uh, we are going to be taking a short break because we do this on Zoom and we have two minutes and 38 seconds. But we are going to take a short, short break. And when we come back, it's time for Steve's historic approximations. Uh, Really excited about this one. It's a fun one. We're going to be talking about TV shows, game shows, a uh, famous TV doctor, and uh, Martha Stewart shoving things up her asshole. Okay. So, uh... So that's going to be our shop. You're going to want to stay tuned for that. It's it's a lot of fun. I, I tried it out on a bunch of people in the house, and they dug it. So uh, we will be right back with more of the Pope on Film after this short, short, wee little break. Do, 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 do. Gigi Allen originally wrote the theme to Sesame Street, too. Which is weird. Not a lot of people know that. Okay. But originally, you know, it's a, uh, can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? And then he rubs shit all over himself. Uh-huh. That was the original theme song. Uh, and then like, and then like, he starts hitting women in the audience. It's crazy. Crazy. The original. With Sesame Cookie Street Monster. Song. With Cookie Monster. Yeah. Um. Do 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 and break or cut. <laughs> 